welcome to Zach Running 3 TV. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to stream or record uh, card game matches on Discord specifically for this uh, Uno. And it's good for like uh, keeping a scoreboard for how you're going to use your uh, best of matches. Like say there's a best of nine, you can use that scoreboard. Or whoever wins game one, two, and whatnot, and then keep that scoreboard updated if you want. But uh, I'll be doing a tutorial on that here today. So first off, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure you see you have my OBS open. So I have most of my stuff in folders. So you're gonna want to add a browser source, and you're gonna want to make it Discord, and then. It will ask you to choose a source. Oh wait, wait, I'm on the wrong thing. Not browser source. I meant shoot, ignore that. Not a browser source, a window capture. Window capture. Not a browser source. We'll be using that. We will be using that, however, very shortly. So window capture. Uh, we're gonna name it Discord. I'm gonna name it a little something different since I already have a Discord one. And so if you, wherever you're recording your game from, it can be, heck, anywhere, really. But for this case, Discord, because that's where it's mostly going to be used for. And then you choose your window. Shoot, I don't know why it's not choosing, but here's my Discord winner. may have to open that up. Anyways, it should let you choose a window, and you want to choose your Discord window. Ah, here it is. So you hit that, and that's your new window capture. I guess right here, depending on what version of OBS you're using, maybe your best bet. But that other thing should work. But in case it does, that you got this. And you may want to have it like tabbed open to make sure. But I had it tabbed out because uh, this is just a test thing right here. Don't really need the server showing up. But um, there's uh, what we have on that for or Discord capture. So you can keep that there. Maybe you want to put it in a folder. Um, I don't need it, so I'm going to get rid of it. So you're going to need your window capture for that, which would be either Discord or whatever source you're using. Again, window capture, not browser source, but we'll be using that here very soon. So using an example, my streams I do for my Uno games, I have a few things I do have set up. So I have my scorekeeper. Go ahead and move this layer down. That way you can see it 100%. So there is what I have for my screen capture for Uno. Here's I do need to do some more rearranging here. I'm not able to see it quite, but. All right, so we have our keep the score. That's what we're using here soon. That's saved for another match. Uh, watch party. That could be useful as well. We're gonna go ahead and turn off a Discord window since I don't need it. Um, do need my display capture to show. But this is what I have for a setup. For instance, see like we'll go ahead and can't see any of that, can you? Um. Alright, so I see some flaws here. Alright, so this is for instance what I have. So you can see my what I have shown and my display capture. Where I put it. Um, also test out a power play count. I guess that's not working. But uh, so you have your watch party window, which is a little thing I added. You don't have to have it, but like say you have a Discord party VC, you can use Stream Kit, which I will open now. Go ahead and move our capture up that we can see where I'm going. But Stream Kit, um, I have it opened up in Microsoft Edge. That seems to work. Here's the link: https stream uh, streamkit.discord.com/overlay. Put a link in that for the description, but. Uh, you can use XSplit, not sure what that is, never used it, but uh, you can use install for OBS, and there you can add a Discord server status thing, 
Let's take, for instance, a uh, random league I'm in, uh, this right here. Uh, it'll show, I guess it doesn't really show how many people are online, but it should. Um, go back to my server I did have it for. This will show all the servers you're in. You have to log into it, of course, and then you have your display online count if you want. You can toggle that on or off. Display server icon. It won't matter for this since I didn't add one. Display invite link. I don't think that's an option anywhere. Yeah, I guess not. Discord logo, you can make it anything. That is a crazy color, purple. Alright. You can do like text color, size, outline. That's not too much. Shadow size, which is basically shadow, and background color anything you want, opacity, lower it, raise it, shadow, but yeah, that's a cool little thing for the chat widget, kind of regret that, because, and it also toggles over here, you can show discussion from a certain channel, I actually didn't know that was a thing, it's actually really cool, you can choose a channel, uh, the server I'm in only has one channel, and they'll show all that, they'll show the users and whatnot, and actually their color of their role as well, I don't think it'll show the image though, let's see, Uh, yeah, you can get a good idea from this. It shows the timestamps and whatnot. But usually voice widget. This is what we're wanting for that. And then you just choose a VC. There's no one in the VCs I'm choosing from right now, but it'll show you. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Did I just... Okay, I guess it put me in there. That's cool. Um, well, learn something new. If you do this in here, it'll put you in that Discord that you are streaming from. All right. Um, now, it won't automatically do that every time because I've done it sometimes I switched it over. And um, you can join and leave that VC and this, this little link like here, right here will still work. So, um, you have some stuff here, small avatars, just shrink the avatars, show speakers only, which it won't show anyone. See, so I'll quit talking and you'll see my thing go away. Yeah, like that. And then it'll hide, you can hide the names, text color, kind of the same stuff as the other stuff there. Shadow color is actually really neat. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, but anyway, once you get this set up, you click this link right here, right click, copy, and then you just tab out of this, and you go to, um, you go and add a browser source, and then you put uh, whatever you want to name it, I just name it screen, or, shit. or in this case I'll just name it something simple since I already have one. Stream kit, and I usually hit control A, control V, that does the job, and you can see I have a little icon for me. I need to turn off my old one because that one isn't showing, but yep, there is a little thing there, and you can move that around anywhere you want. Uh, and say you're doing a watch party. Real quick, I'm going to have to reset this in. Say you're doing a watch party. All right, yeah, the watch party thing's a little bit, a little bit uh, weird, but um, you can make your own. I probably won't send mine because it's such a simple feature that anyone can make. You can find something on the internet and you just move it over here. You can make it bigger, smaller by just moving this. And, yeah, you got yourself a little watch party um, over here. I don't know if you've seen some of my UNO streams. Uh, you can check my live streams to see MRE, UNO, best of whatever. And you can get a good idea of what this is from that, for that use. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I don't need it, but don't delete it for your side because you're watching the tutorial. So next step, we're going to want to get, uh, also this over here, uh, I have Middle Road Energy Uno, that's a little sidebar I did to hide my servers, again, you can custom make that in GIMP or um, any other free photo editing software, it doesn't really, mat size isn't really a huge deal, just as long as you get it in your screen proportions, you may want to do some testing, but maybe just try to figure out. How, how tall your screen is, and just kind of guess on the width 
uh, even even that much. You don't really need to work too hard on getting right. But um, put that back. Um, now we're gonna do our scoreboard. And you see this little scoreboard here. You can move that around, scale it, whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna be using this scoreboard because I'm gonna show you how to make a new one. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to keep the score. Type that in. And um, I'll send the link to this in the description as well. So we have our scoreboards. Um, these are just some I have. Some of them I've created uh, for the road energy. Let's see, so we got that one, that one. Um, we're gonna want to create a new one. All right, so go ahead and uh, keep making a simple scoreboard. All right, so. We want a uh, I've never tried this before. Let's, okay, that that costs uh Alright, so I do need to I guess you got a limit on how many free ones you got. I'll go ahead and uh, get rid of that one and that one. See if that okay no I still gotta delete some uh what does this look like? Alright. Yeah this was uh I don't like me using that. So we're gonna start a new one. I guess you only get two for free, so keep that in mind. Create a leaderboard, not a leaderboard, we don't want that. Create a score sheet. Alright, um see if we can cook here. If we don't want that, so let's say Uno Tornum. Say it's a uh, very Larry Finals or something like that. Um, the decimals, we don't need that. Units, shoot, I don't think we need that either. Alright, say uh, me versus. On cookie. Let's see. Oh, so we have that. All right. So that's if you make something like that, it's gonna look like that. But if you want something like I have over there, you're probably gonna make want to make something different. Well, let's click make comments too. Um, I think you just share the link to this of your. All right. Yeah, you can publish this. You can share the link uh, with full editing rights. If you want people to comment, you would share this link and copy, paste it, put it in Discord, whatever. You can download it as an image. I don't see you can embed it on websites, but you got, well, you gotta have the um, the uh, premium. But this is what we're gonna want. Wait, hold up. That is not what we're gonna want. All right, never mind. All right, so. Question is now, how do we put it on our stream? I don't really know, so I'm gonna go in here and look to see how. So we have some settings here, general options, and live chat combination. Um, again, we don't really need that. So I don't like this leaderboard to be honest, because it's not really accurate but this would be good for like say you got tournaments going at the same time you can add more than two players obviously you can see how long it's lasted um add scores would be uh what okay i guess you just put in the numbers uh don't really like this that system but all right uh, so that's the score there you can add reactions whatnot with that. I don't know if this is one you can stream or not. The CSV, don't really need that. So, that would not be what we need for streaming. I don't think this is what we'd need for that. So, Let's do a different scoreboard because I'm not really too familiar with this one. 
so we'll go ahead and uh, delete that. We don't really need it. And we'll start a new one. I think we had a uh, real life square bird. Let's. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, you could kind of work with that. So generic. We'll do generic because it's not really a sport. And this is what we use for. Or this is what I usually use. So configure. Let's put a John versus. Uh, Tony, for example, and we'll do like color. You can do any really color you want. You can do like a over opacity green for John and a tan for Tony. Probably want to do a more contrasting color. Black would be better, but do dark blue just for the sake of creativity. White's no issue there. You can also upload logos, but um. It does take up a bit of space on the, uh, I think that's mine, could be wrong. Yeah, so like, say John likes NASCAR or whatever, it's going to look like that. It's going to look so, I wonder what it looks like on the stream, I haven't checked that out. Let's say they're both Jeff Gordon fans, because, I don't know, I'll do something original. I have no idea what that is. Hope it's not something too bad. Uh, yeah. Random as it is, we'll do that. And say Tony wins two Uno games and John has one. So it's a best of nine, not even that far in the game. So let's see. So this is where it gets interesting. So this, I believe, um, would be where you'd put Wait, no. So add the scoreboard to a streaming software. You have different layouts. You have a stacked layout, one team above another, which wouldn't be what it shows, but I'll show you what it like what it's like. Um, we'll go ahead and view it, open like a new tab, and this is what will show on your stream. And we're gonna go ahead and copy URL. Now again if they didn't have the images it would just be that without the image and Tony and John would be more over. Uh, just not really a huge deal there. You can do like um, say you're on Discord and you just use the profile pictures of the said user for that. So let's open up our OBS again. And we're going to add a new browser source. And we're going to name it Keep the Score. We're just going to name KTS for Keep the Store. Not KYS by no means, but this is what a vertical thing looks like. So you could lay it out really anywhere you want. Um, if you're doing Uno thing, you just kind of figure out a way to lay it out. It don't really work for me since... I have a lot of space needed, and this kind of takes a lot more space than what I'm wanting. So I wonder what it would look like vertical with the profile pictures, or at least that. So change it to horizontal. Go ahead and see what this looks like on the thing. And it actually, the images don't even show on that. And there you have it. That's how you get that. Again, copy URL. Uh, then you want to add your browser source. And then you just want to control A, control V, hit OK, and just kind of square it up where you want it. And other than that, you shouldn't need anything else. Just make sure you have all your stuff organized in your sources. You may want to add some folders, like in my case, I like, I do some NR2003 stuff with gnl.tv, um, in this case scenario, uh, you see also the lowered opacity on John there, you see how, you can see behind it. You can also edit the opacity on, in your configure settings, logos aren't really needed, but, uh, and you can also like if you're doing other stuff, there's other stuff you can do to show timeouts, especially if it's like for an actual game, you're streaming like an actual like football yeah, game or some sporting event, this would be a great source as well. But keep the score, I'll send you the link to it and then you just update these and they will update real time in OBS. 
and uh, that's how I do my Uno live streams. Um, I'll just kind of give you the final product product a little bit here. Make sure I got my. Uh... So that's our actual keep the score that I use. And again, move it around. Probably shouldn't have did that, but that's what I did. I get my stuff reorganized here. Don't need that anymore. I don't anyway, but I'll do. And you have your 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 folder, which isn't 100% necessary. You don't need display capture because that's how I'm showing you all this. Um, you'll need your keep the score, and you'll need here. Let me scroll this down. Way I can y'all can see what I'm doing here. But uh, yeah, that's what we have. Um, again, Discord, you kind of have to have a source selected. That's odd. All right, so I'm going to have to open up my Discord. Make sure it's still live. And I'm sure I can hear my audio source. And uh, it's not wanting to do what I'm wanting it to. On. All right, that's set. Reason the rolls faded out. That's weird. All right, never seen that happen before. But uh, shoot, there is. Thing. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes Discord doesn't want to do what it's supposed to. There we go. Let's do that. And being backwards on me, but yeah, you have your Discord. You have your little thing on the side, which isn't 100% necessary. Just make sure you got your stuff layered. You got to keep the score um, right there with the game name. It's just from last game I used. I didn't really edit any. Then the, emo, the side, which is optional. If you want to show everyone the server you're in, that's up to you. But it's even if you're using Discord, Watch Party, that's also another thing that's optional because. Uh, if I don't have to have it there, but I showed it there anyway, since that way it's not a waste of space. And other than that, uh, open game on op on uh, streaming card games. If you want to stream, just look up how to stream on OBS on Google. It'll show you how to start and recording. Uh, kind of self-explanatory streaming. It's a little bit more into it, but not too much harder. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much all I want to show you if you have any questions or if I didn't quite show anything in the depth of what would be needed for you just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time